Today we are attending the oldest rivalry in NCAA Division II college history. That's right, and it's also the shortest distance away game because the two universities are right across the street from each other. They call this the Battle of the Ravine, and this is the 94th year of celebrating this tradition. Let the battle begin. First, let's back up and talk about why we're even here. We are camping at DeGray Lake in Arkadelphia, Arkansas, which is only about 20 minutes from both Washita and Henderson. DeGray Lake is a man-made lake and is one of the five diamond lakes here in Arkansas. And it's home to one of Arkansas's premier state parks, DeGray Lake Resort State Park. Now let's get back to the battle. The game is on Saturday, but Battle of the Ravine actually starts the week before. Both campuses cover their signs and their monuments, like this one, so that the other school cannot pull pranks. And overnight, all week long, the different sororities, fraternities, social clubs take turns guarding the places like this from the other school. The rich tradition of pranking each other's schools goes back over a hundred years ago. And the Henderson State Reddies and the Washita Baptist Tigers have been duking it out for nearly a century ever since on and off the field. Speaking of pranks, we actually have somebody here from class of 75, Washita Baptist University, who has a story for you guys. This is Rick. Rick, tell us the story. All right, I'm gonna tell you the best, the good version, all right? Okay. Uh, class of 75 and during my time here, one day a plane came over the Washita campus and white ping pong balls with HSU in red fell out of it. And among other things, broke glass, hit some heads. No fatalities or serious oh, injuries, man. but uh, uh, we heard that the guy in that plane lost his license over that. Wow. And also, you know, stealing the tail off the tiger and smearing it with paint and all that kind of stuff. And, and after, you know, I think it was the late 70s, it got so bad that they suspended the game for a few really? years. Did not have the Battle of the Ravine. What? Yeah. Wow. But anyway, it, uh, we retired here about 10 years ago, and what amazed me, first of all, everything is swathed in plastic this week. Yes, we to, noticed that. Yeah, Everything's covered up. Because they don't want paint on it. And both fields, no matter where the game is, the lights burn 24 hours a day, the week of the Battle of the Ravine. Why is that? So you don't mess up the field. Oh, wow. And we, when we first came 10 years ago, they put our tiger in a cage here on <laughs> campus you know, to protect it. But uh, when you put a tiger in a cage, it becomes a house cat, so go figure that one. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, We're cool. looking forward to the game today. Yeah, well, who's going to win? OBU. OBU. Last time All right. Were, a few years ago, well, within the last 10 we were here, it went overtime several times and Washington won that game. Oh, so exciting. Well, we're excited for the game. We can't wait. We are in Henderson State's campus right now. We can already hear the band playing, so we're going to check out what's going on. So just to give you an idea of how close the schools are to each other, we are standing at one of the entrances to Henderson State Stadium, and that right there is Washita Stadium. <laughs> And if there's a game going on at both stadiums at the same time, you can hear each of them from the other side. All right, they've already started to walk across the highway to OBU for the big game. Let's go. We've joined this massive parade of people walking across the highway. You can see they've got traffic backed way up as we cross the street.
Josh Todd to score the first touchdown of the game. First touchdown of the game. Go Tigers. OBU's mascot is the Tiger, and Henderson's mascot is the Reddy, which begs the question, what is a Reddy? All right, our question is, what is a Reddy? Uh, well, the Reddies are the losers of the Battle of the Ring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, wow. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is Sabrina. She's a Henderson State grad, so what is a Reddy? A Reddy is the school spirit that lives inside of every single one of us. In 1925, when Henderson's campus burned to the ground, the students came together and decided that they would not let the school end there. They would come together and from there, the Reddy spirit was born. There you have it. It's the end of the first quarter, and Washita is up 14 0. Reddy score! Beginning of the fourth quarter, 28-21 Tigers. Something really cool is that Henderson's band actually has an official title, and that is the show band of Arkansas. Yep. Alright, we have less than two minutes left in the game and it's tied. It's intense. <laughs> a minute in the game. Washita just kicked a field goal, taking the lead. All right, final score 31-28. Congrats, Tigers. All right, congrats to the Tigers on their three-point lead. And if you are a sports fan, I think this is a rivalry game worth attending, um, worth the trip to small town Arkadelphia, Arkansas. So We're headed back to camp, and we'll see you guys in the next day. Bye! Ooh, can I do some random fun facts you can put in the bloopers? Okay, fun facts. Um, Washita Stadium is the Cliff Harris Stadium, and if you're a Cowboys fan, you probably know who Cliff Harris is. He was actually at the game today, so that's cool. Um, oh, the other fun fact is that we tried to play a cool to show you both sides today, but we're actually Reddies. It's true. Go we Reddies. have three degrees between the two of us from Henderson. <laughs> so even though we lost, Reddies fans forever. Woohoo! DeGray Lake is home to, no, that comes later. DeGray Lake is a beautiful man-made lake here in Arkansas and is one of the five diamond lakes here in Arkansas. Here in Arkansas twice, got it. Okay. The Great Lake is a man-made lake, and uh, it is also home to one of Arkansas's premier resort state parks. No. Oh my gosh. I'll TJ. do this. I'll just do it from the beginning. Got it. Okay, you better hurry because it's getting dark. Okay. okay, okay. What do you think? Hold on. No, stop. It's too dark. The sun just went down. I know. Okay. The Great Lake is a man-made lake here, and is one of the. Okay. Oh, I got this. I promise. Now we're going to. Oh, hold on. You can hear the band already playing. And what are we going to do? <laughs> we're going to go check out what's going on. Okay. We are on Henderson. Oh, wow. That's bright. Tell me when. Okay. All right. We're here with the drum lines. I think they're about. You have to like talk. No, I know yeah. what to do. Can you do it? Yeah. Don't, don't make it cheesy like okay. we don't know what's going on. All right. First touchdown of the game. Go Tigers. It felt salty coming out of my mouth. Okay, this is Garrett, and our question is, what's a ready? Well, I'll tell you what a ready's not. Okay. Uh, and I'll, I want to tell you some things. I think a tiger is a tiger. Yeah. A bulldog is a bulldog. Okay. A panther is a panther. Yeah. A wildcat is a wildcat. But a ready is God's noblest work. <laughs> That's a really good answer. <laughs> Whoa, no, I'm not ready.
ready to step out of the way yeah. like that. Alright, ready? Yeah. yeah. I don't know when to go. Okay. Oh wait, was I supposed to talk first? What was I gonna <laughs> say? Something about if you're a sports fan. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. Or I'll start. I'll say congrats to the Tigers for winning the 94th Battle of the Ravine. Or congrats to the Tigers on the three-point lead. And then okay. you take it from there. Ready? 